We have all heard of so many different ways that school is going to happen this year. Cal and ISD wants to help you understand how we're going to handle student safety and learning in this unprecedented time. Cal and ISD is taking every precaution to ensure your child and our staff safety. We are planning for social distancing by marking our facilities so students can visually know what it means to social distance. We are deep cleaning on a daily basis and above that we are will be disinfecting between classes and usage of any materials. We have purchased materials such as disinfecting guns to help with maintaining the safest environment possible. Students and staff will be required to wear masks or face shields. Breakfast will be provided to all students at no charge. Elementary students will be eating breakfast in their classrooms. The cafeteria at CMS and CHS will maintain the six feet of social distancing with additional lunch times. Parents will not be allowed to drop off food for students this school year. Parents can send a check or pay online for lunches. It is recommended to not use cash. Virtual learning this school year is going to be completely different than it was in the spring. In the spring, we were trying to maintain the learning that had occurred prior to March. This school year, we will be required to provide direct instruction just as if every student is in our classrooms. Schedules will follow the same schedule as the student would if they were being face-to-face. -face. What that means for students who select to stay virtual, you can have multiple check-in times daily. You will have to complete the work for each of your classes on a daily basis, so you cannot just do math for the week on Monday and science for the week on Tuesday. Teachers will be assigning daily activities that will need to be completed within the 24 hours in order for you to receive credit for attendance and showing daily progress. Teachers will have a scheduled time that you can contact them if you have any questions or need help. Teachers will not be available outside of the regular school day, elementary 7.30 to 3.30 and middle school and high school 8 to 4. Some virtual classes will require the students to log in during the class period each day. Example, if you have a class second period scheduled at 9.23, you would have to log in then in order to receive live instruction while other classes will post videos, activities, and work will be completed throughout the day. Teachers may also require students to log in live on occasion when needed. All of these requirements will be spelled out when schedules are sent out. On Wednesday, August the 19th, we will begin full implementation of our revised and revamped virtual learning plan. Sample grade level schedules will be posted and you can easily see that it is vastly different from last spring's virtual learning plan. August the 19th through September the 4th, all students will attend school virtually and will be expected to adhere to the grade level schedule. Students continuing with virtual learning will keep that schedule. Students returning to school on September 8th and thereafter will be given a similar schedule. Expectations for students. Your learning matters. While we know this is a new environment for all of us, helping you learn and grow as students and citizens during this time of digital learning is as important as ever. Check your Google Classroom, Schoology, and your school email daily. In Google Classroom, Schoology, check each class you would normally attend that day. Complete the lessons, including any daily attendance assignments. Attendance will be taken for each day. Teachers will use one of the following proof of attendance. Students complete an attendance assignment, a warm-up, an exit ticket, a reflection, or an other assignment for the teacher. Students submit an assignment due that day. Teachers don't need to do an attendance assignment if they have something more summative due on a specific date. Attendance will be recorded in Schoology the following morning. Example, Monday attendance will be recorded on Tuesday morning. We will provide this flexibility for students who may not be able to complete digital assignments during the normal school day due to Wi-Fi access, shared devices, or family responsibility. We strongly recommend that students follow a normal schedule during this period as much as possible, but we understand that this may not be possible for every student every day. Some teachers are holding synchronous or live lessons during their normally scheduled class. Students should plan to attend these lessons. Teachers have established office hours when students can check in and receive support. Teachers will be available during the regular school day. Students are responsible for contacting teachers if they need additional assistance to successfully complete digital lessons. Students will follow the behavior expectation and norms outlined in our student code of conduct and established in each classroom. Expectations for parents. Transitioning to digital learning is a huge shift for all of us. 
teachers, students, and parents, while we recognize that we cannot replicate the experience students have in school, we believe learning can continue if we all work together. Please help your student establish a daily routine. We recommend maintaining as much of a regular schedule as possible. Include times for school, meals, physical activity, and downtime. Identify a working space for your student. Some students may want to work in their bedrooms, but most need a clear separation between work and personal time. All students will be expected to dress appropriately for the entire school day. They should not show up to a live session in their pajamas or shirtless. Ensure that your student has the technical tools and materials they need. Check Google Classroom Schoology with your student. How often you check in is up to the requirements of your courses. This may vary by student. As we begin this new learning environment, help your child check in. Help your student reach out to teachers for support if needed. Students should use posted office hours first and rely on email as a secondary support. We anticipate that teachers will receive an unusually high volume of emails through this transition and we encourage everyone to be as patient as possible. Contact the school if your student is sick and unable to attend school. Submit excuse notes to the school attendance clerk. State and school attendance policies apply for virtual and in-person attendance. Please note, attendance will be recorded the day after. For example, Monday's attendance will be recorded on Tuesday. This means that our attendance reminder calls will also be delayed by day. If your student misses school on or a class on Friday, you will receive a reminder on Monday. Encourage your student to keep in touch with friends and mentors. Take care of yourself so you can take care of your student. Expectations for teachers. Daily lessons will be posted today for each class taught. Established office hours to support students will be posted. Respond to emails on a timely basis to the extent possible. Record grades in Skyward on a timely basis. Record attendance for each class and maintain regular communication. Grading guidelines for virtual school will follow the same Cullen ISD grading guidelines utilized for students enrolled in face-to-face -face instruction. This includes late assignments. In the grading policy, late assignments will be accepted one day late for the highest grade of a 70. Long-term projects, those given with 10 or more days ahead, will only be accepted on the due date. After the due date, a grade of zero will be assigned. You will be asked to select whether your child will be attending face-to-face -face or virtual on Wednesday, August the 5th. Once the instructional mode is selected, face-to-face -face or virtual, your child will remain in that format for the first six weeks of school. After the first six weeks, you can elect to change the mode of instruction from virtual to face-to-face -face or face-to-face -to, -face to virtual at each progress reporting period every three weeks as long as you provide notice two weeks in advance to the campus. If less than two weeks notice is given, the change in instructional mode will be the following reporting period, which could be up to five weeks. We hope that this lengthy and detailed explanation will help answer most of your questions. More information will be posted to the website, social media, and parent link in the near future. Please be patient and understanding with the changes that may occur due to the ever-changing situation related to COVID that are being required of us from TEA and the state. Together, we will get through this. We are Cal Allen.